everyone watching on Sky Racing and around the world, I reckon, is happy for you, Robbie Dolan, as I introduce you as a Melbourne Cup winning jockey. I don't reckon that will ever grow old. Well done, mate. Thank you. Um, it's crazy, isn't it? I can't believe it. It's it's every jockey's dream to just ride in the Melbourne Cup, never mind win it. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. First ever ride at Flemington. Your first ever trip down that famous Flemington straight on the back of a horse and you win Australia's greatest race. Yeah, uh, well, I, I actually, it's, I, I've ridden here before once, but it didn't go good for me. I rode Profondo here one day and, and it just didn't go good. And um, Well, I'm unbeaten in the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you are unbeaten in the Melbourne Cup. Well, Profondo was your first Group 1 success, so now you just keep knocking them up, it would seem. But this one has to just sit top tier and by a fair margin, I would imagine. Oh, this is, it's the biggest race in the world, really, isn't it? Like, it's, it's the race that stops the nation. It's probably the race that stops the world as well. Um, I remember watching this as a kid and, and just in awe of the crowds and stuff. And we wa I walked up the straight about an hour before my race and I just couldn't believe the crowds. How is there that many people here? And um, now, we're, now, we're, now we're a Melbourne Cup winner. Brett, your life changed when you won a Melbourne Cup. Tell this man what he's in store for yeah, from here. Yeah, the next 24 hours is a bit of a whirlwind. You know, you're going to be uh, doing a, you're going to be re repeating yourself quite a fair few times. That's for sure. But it's a it's a good uh, good thing to happen. And uh, obviously, it's it's you know something that we all strive to do. And once you do it, no one can take that away from you. And it's a you know, it's a um, you know just treasure the moment. That's all I can say. Because you're, for 12 months, you're the winner. Like that year was winning Melbourne Cup jockey. So you're going to have a, a really uh, fantastic year. And you know, and hopefully it changes everything for you too. Everyone's on track, mate. So Christine Maisie here as well as your dad? Yeah, Christine Maisie. My dad flew over on, on, on Sunday. I didn't know he was coming. He surprised me. He rocked up in my kitchen and um, he's here today. I, I kept it together really well until I came back to the mountain yard to see my dad and, and little Maisie and Christine and then I just bawled my eyes out. So um, <laughs> yeah, it was good. A win for Ireland and maybe not one that many anticipated. Tell me about John and Sheila and how this came about. Really great trainers, underrated trainers. Sheila's also unbeaten in the Melbourne Cup, two for two. Um, you know, they always believed in this little horse. Sort of when they asked me to come ride him in the Caulfield Cup, it was going to be a wet track, and, and they always they said to me, you know, he, he'll probably run below par because it's a wet track, and um, he runs better on a dry track, and I knew that all along. But I believed in the horse. I really, you know, coming in here today, and I knew the track was dry, I, I really fancied him. I, I, maybe not to win I don't know it's a Melbourne Cup you never know but I fancied him to run a really good race after his run last week I was confident he'd run two mile and um, you probably need like a, an eight, a horse with an 1800 metre dash um, that stays a trip to, for the Melbourne Cup and, and he's certainly got that Brett I'm sure you would have done some pretty strange things in preparation for a Melbourne Cup ride as I understand it he didn't watch one replay or two replays but the past 40 years worth of Melbourne Cup replays. Is that right in preparation for this ride today? Yeah, I flicked through them. Over, <laughs> I, I, Just I, the last 800? Or? Yeah, I flicked through them over the last sort of 20, 20 years or so. Just, you know, did I get anything up out of it? Probably not. Only that um, J Max salute was very good. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's, I can't believe my, my name's etched up there with all the big boys. It is awesome. Brett, anything you have to say to him before we let Robbie go on what is going to be a whirlwind of a night, I'm sure? Nah, for sure. Just enjoy it and, uh, you know, it's going to be a fantastic time that you remember for the rest of your life. Mate, we've absolutely loved watching your rise. I remember when you had to make the tough call to move everyone up to Queensland. You've made it your home up there. You've got the confidence. You could see in that ride you're a man that just rides with, with passion and confidence now, but... To see you get Group 1 successes and then to see you win a Melbourne Cup. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was absolutely stunned by what I saw, but I'm so happy for you. Thank you. People talking about the ride and that, but I, I still haven't even watched the race yet. I, yeah, I, I, don't, I said that to Ben. I, I was far back, I, I haven't even watched the, I watched the race, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting interviewed like I'm about to sign for Real Madrid. It's crazy. You never know. You can sing, you can ride a Melbourne Cup winner. Maybe Real Madrid's next for you. Well done, mate. Congratulations.